This is a story about my cat. Well, not really. It's about flipping furniture. But it started out with a cat perch that I had created for Mia, my first cat. And then we got a second cat and they shared that little perch until Max grew twice the size of Mia. I'm Valfrania and I'm going to show you how I created a cat condo for both my cats so they can play or sleep right next to me while I work in my office. And they don't have to fight over who gets to sit in the little perch because the two of them just don't fit anymore. This is the dresser that we started out with. It sat out in our garage for a couple years waiting for me to decide what to do with it. Once I decided I wanted to make it a condo, I drew up plans and, and I told DH what I wanted to do with it. So he sanded it for me and got it all ready for me to paint. I really liked how it turned out after he sanded it. It looked really rustic and I thought I could work with that. So I got busy and drew my circles that I wanted to cut the holes out. Fortunately, DH did that for me. And then I set to cutting the circles or the, the round parts of the carpet to fit it in so the cats would have something comfy to sit on. We just had some remnants down in our basement, so it was easy as pie to just go grab them and cut them. I painted the top with uh, Retikit's Ultra Teak all-in-one paint. And also matching that, I painted the front of the drawer to get my basic color down to match the green on the sides. I used these really neat little bench cookies that I got a while ago to elevate the piece so I could do some work on the side. I prefer to work with it flat rather than sitting next to it. So those little bench cookies work really great for keeping it in place because it's got a rubber surface on it to grab a hold of it. Next, I picked out the colors that I thought I might want to use and the brushes are wonder brushes. I really was unsure what I wanted to do to decorate this piece. I wanted to work with the really old world look that the sanding that DH made had created for me for a base. So I started out by just stenciling with some light colors to bring a little bit of a background. And then I also did the same type of color combination for the front of the drawer. Right here you see me using wadded up wax paper. I've got the darker color willow and the lighter color lily to accent it. Both of these are Retikit's Ultra Teak all-in-one paint. You could also use a natural sponge to create the same kind of background that you can see me doing with the wax paper. I decided that that was not good enough. I didn't care for just the white accents, so then I added a kind of a peachy metallic, and I didn't like that either. So back to the drawing board, new idea, new plan, which will be part two. Thank you.